Church, blessings to you as we are continuing on our journey. It's been about, what, two weeks uh, that I've talked with you. Um, as we continue on our journey, journey with the Matthew 5 verses, uh, we're looking at verse 8 today. Um, praying for you and the family uh, during this time that we're in. We got the COVID-19, we got riots, we got, it, it's the whole gamut, you know, uh, protests and we even got a few of ours within our, our body of Christ here at Light Point. Um, we got uh, COVID-19 and uh, we're, we're praying for them. Um, but of course, God is good in whatever that we're facing. And so I just wanted to give you that hope. As Jesus said, uh, when these things begin to happen, nations against nations, earthquakes in various places and the rumors of wars and wars, you know, look up. Because our redemption is drawing near. And he is. And so looking at Matthew uh, 5 verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. God is saying blessed are you. For being pure. In heart. Because you will see me. You will see me work. You will see me work powerfully through you. Uh, and what God is saying. Think of that word uh, pure. Uh, think of pure honey, you know what I'm saying, untainted by any additives or other flavors and everything else, you know, which is pure. Uh, that word pure in the Greek means katharos. It means to be clean, blameless, unstained from guilt, uh, being purified by fire or by pruning. Okay, a lot of us don't want to be pruned. Uh, we, we can think of, uh, uh, some of you may be... Um, gardeners and so pruning that old branch or whatever and getting it out the way or pruning it to to where that vine itself could produce more of a fruitful fruitful uh, branch okay and so uh, I was talking to a friend of mine today past friend he was uh, telling me about this uh, catheter and you think of that uh, that word catheros and so it's anything dealing with the heart the heart of the matter the heart of the issue and so uh, it's, it's, it's incredible because a lot of times I had the thing called an angiogram, okay, where they take the scope, the camera on the end of it, up through your body towards your heart to see if there are any blockages within it, okay? If there are any blockages, okay, they, they're going to go ahead and, um, you know, fix it, put a catheter there or a pacemaker, okay, so that your blood could run freely through your heart without any uh, interruptions. It's, it's, it's free. It's pure. Okay. The blood running a hundred percent supply and demand. Well, that's how God is saying that we have to be. Think of Jesus on the Sermon on the Mount, uh, telling the disciples, this is how you need to be with this new life, this new, uh, attitude of ours. It needs to be that of Christ. And so, uh, purity also, it, it involves being authentic. It's like we take a, a, a fish and Fillet it wide open. God is saying, think about prayers. When we pray to God, sometimes they can get kind of uh, uh, monotonous. They can get, uh, okay, using big words or fancy words or just like, eh, you know, I'm tired. And, but I, I'm going to go ahead and check the block and pray to God. And, but it's not real. Okay. It's respectful. But a lot of times it's not real. Guess what? God is saying, I know you. I know what you're going to pray. I know what you're going to say. I'm the creator. I, I, I know. So when you come to me, come for real. A lot of times this is how our prayers are not really answered. Okay. We're not real with God. And God is saying, I need you to be pure before me. And when we do, when we come with the good, the bad, the ugly, God is saying, I will work powerfully through you. That's what he's saying. He'll work powerfully through us. Uh, we go in before God. We wide open, uh, hiding nothing before him. Uh, he knows everything. Tell him all. Tell him all of it. That's when we'll see him work powerfully through us. Think of uh, what's the, uh, uh, Psalms 15 verse 2. Where he says, David is saying uh, that the character that, that God looks for. David is saying, he who walks uprightly and works righteousness, uh, right with God, and speaks the truth in his heart. Those are the ones that Jesus, God himself, is looking for. Uh, think also of Psalms uh, 24 verses I think this is four. Yeah, where it says, uh, David again, he's saying, he who has clean hands, okay, guiltless, he's, he's pure, and a pure heart, he who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, 
okay? Nor sworn deceitfully, God is saying, this is the man or woman that I'm looking for. Right before me, guiltless, for, uh, guilt, guiltless. they're free from any inhibitions, okay? Uh, they have hands that is not dirty before me. This is what I love, God is saying. And when we come before God that way, as Jesus is telling the disciples on the mount, we'll begin to see God work powerfully through us to whatever we're facing, especially to, for such a time as this, God is saying, I got you. Uh, and I want to work through you. And uh, uh, come to me correct. Give me the good, the bad. Uh, give me all of it. And watch, be honest with me and, and watch how I work is what God is saying. And uh, watch what he would do. Praying for, for us all. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it could be uh, stormy, but God, he got our back. And uh, he's going to take care of it. He's going to work it out. That's what he does. And so praying for you all and uh, thankful that you're praying for us as well. And uh, we'll see you next time, okay? God bless. And give me the strength to believe. Show me your ways and teach me our truth and help me.